Entering the safari park. Hi, Suhana. Ito pala mga. Kala ko nakaharap. That's the goat. Let's go now. Okay, let's go. Oh, Jen Jen! Jen Jen, the elephant! Jen Kyle! The elephant! Okay. Oh, see them see walk? talking about adaptations, specifically the adaptations of the iconic animals that live in Africa. These adaptations can vary from the color of an animal's coat as well as any additional abilities that they might have. And all of their adaptations are going to allow them to survive in the harsh climate and environment of the African place. <laughs> While we get to our next destination, we're going to be entering all scattered around this Hello. habitat here. Or this center here. We have some towards the back of the wall, some by the feeders a little bit closer to us. 
And one by that really far back you wall. Call a rhino. That one. I know some of them kind of look like boulders, but I that promise one, you if it starts wiggling its tail or its ears, it is a rhino. rhino that one. Oh, the or the third one. But anyway, this, one, this, one this other one white rhino has the ability to grow 4 to 5,000 pounds, which is pretty massive. But they are also one of the more social species of rhino, and they travel in groups called grasses, so I like to call them gentle giants. These other white rhino, much like other rhino species, is considered endangered. And this is due to poaching out in the wild. Some people believe that a rhino's horn has some type of medicinal property to it and can heal things like cancer. However, that is not true at all. A rhino's horn is made out of the same material that makes up our hair and our nails. And if you feel your hair and your nails, that. But one of the best ways we can help the southern white rhino and other rhino species is to let people know that their horns have no medicinal properties to them fluctuation of wet and dry seasons in the savannah and this does yeah, it's big one. all around this portion of the savannah hub we have a couple of tan colored gazelles one of them appears to be very festive eating one of those pumpkins down there but these here are the samarang gazelle and their tan colors are an adaptation for them which is going to allow them to camouflage into their background from the savannah but they also have a very bright white underbelly and this is yet another adaptation. That color is actually going to allow them to reflect light off of their bodies. It's just a nice and cool in the hot climate of the savannah. It does look like it is lunchtime, so some of them are reaching at the top of those trees to get some snacks, aka the leaves that are on those trees. Yes, you like that? Now, a giraffe has the ability to grow up to 18 feet tall, which is pretty massive. Some people say that for every foot a giraffe grows, they also have an inch of tongue, which is why their tongues are so long. So for example, an 18 foot giraffe would have an 18 inch tongue. To give you a better visual of what that looks like, if you look at the tip of your middle finger. Now notice how some of them are standing like statues and they're all looking off into different directions. Well, they're actually forming what we call an alert circle. I know it doesn't really look like a circle, but trust me, it's still called an alert circle. It works the same way. But they're all looking off into those different directions to watch. And they're also forming an alert Especially hard for a predator with a limited color spectrum in their eyesight. To them, all those stripes kind of just bundle up together and it makes it look like one giant zebra. And they're definitely not going to want to encounter a giant And a lot of different species that live in the African plains have their own ways of staying cool. For the Patterson Island, it is that dewlap. Earlier we talked about the Samarang Cazelle and it was their underbelly. Oh my and if we look over on our passenger side, if you look at these very massive cattle, oh, these are the and holy cattle. And the way that they cow. see cool is actually from those massive horns. If you were to see the inside of their horn, it kind of looks like a hunt because she's starting to grow so fast. It also looks like coming up, we have an entire tower of giraffes, and I know we saw giraffes earlier in our tour. There are different species of giraffes. Earlier we saw the Maasai giraffe, and here we have the East African giraffe. And they have a beautiful oh, a giraffe. Coat, as well as a yellow tip of their coat. Wow, it's like Jinkalo! In this tower we do have a variation of sizes as well. We have some adults, oh, some you youngsters, know? And let me see if I can stop this baby of the room, because this one's actually here, but I do follow them a little farther up the side. Wow! 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 Wow!